The psalmist reminds us in chapter 126 that those who sow with tears will reap with songs and shouts of joy. Promises like this are what I need to cling to in the difficult seasons of loss and grief. As most of you know, our Big Daddy Weave family lost my dear brother, best friend, and bandmate Jay Weaver earlier this year after years of struggle and fight, but also an amazing testimony for Jesus on the road to the very end. Here are some sweet memories of Jay from, from our, some of our great friends. My uh, overriding memory of Jay is always joy. It's terrible jokes, but a lot of laughter. So much fun, even in the hardest of times. For me, one of the things I'll always cherish about Jay and knowing Jay is the time we had together on tour. I mean, he was always so positive. He always had a smile on his face. I mean, you could go to him at any time in, in the day. You know, when I was down on the dumps or feeling lonely on a tour, uh, he could just, he gave you that word. You know, he was always there to encourage you, always there to, to lift you up. I love it. He was always preparing. I feel like he was genuinely preparing me and looking out for the absolute best for every human. And that is something I absolutely treasure about him. And I just remember every day being blown away by his attitude, his just making people laugh all the time. If anybody, if anybody could do it, he he could do it. And just his his heart for people, his heart for the Lord, it just came through. Um, his heart for his family. It was just beautiful being, being around him. I was just like, man, it just it just rubs off on you. Everything that I remember about J Dog is all wrapped up in joy and just complete incomprehensible faith. I would call him in moments, um, I called him two weeks before he passed and I was in a really bizarre season. You know, he prayed with me and then he spoke this just wisdom that was just so incredible. Um, and it was almost like I could just feel like he was getting downloaded from the Holy Spirit in that moment, just speaking over me. I remember coming back from vocal surgery after six months of not singing, not even knowing if I was gonna have a voice or not. But the first time I was coming back singing was at the Caleb Fan Awards and I was singing with Big Daddy Weave. And I came into that room, that rehearsal room, and y'all just wrapped me up in your arms. And I felt so welcome. I remember Jay being so encouraging. That, that's every memory. And I am so deeply gonna miss his friendship um, and our conversations and texts. Um, but man, I, I know he's, He's just up there living his best life. We all can't wait to see him again. And uh, so amazing that we can say that about our brothers and sisters in Christ. We're gonna always see them again. There's never an end in Jesus, it's just forever. And now he's dancing on the streets of heaven, dancing. And I look forward to the day that I get to see you again, Jay, to say thank you. And But for everybody here tonight at the show, worship, worship the King like it is your last day on earth. In the blink of an eye, all the sorrow, all the heartache will be gone and we'll be with the King. But while we're here, let's do what Jay would want. Surrender, serve, love God, love people. Amen. Oh, man. Y'all got to let me read. Come on, y'all got to let me read. Oh, we are so grateful for all the thoughts and prayers, your support, and many stories shared with us of how Jesus used Jay in the lives of so many. And while our hearts are temporarily broken here on earth, I'm celebrating what Jay is seeing and experiencing right now in heaven. It's what I long to see. We know Jesus is coming back soon. Come on. Right, Jordan? He's coming back, he's coming back, right? People get ready, come on. 